All right, everybody. Josh, Better Hopes Garden Real Estate Paramount. Coming at you today is Thursday. And uh, man, it was a late night last night. Got, was working on setting inspections, turned in a new contract. There's a Diptra in here. One of those giant mosquito looking flies. I had to get it out. Um, late night and Rhett's still feeling under the weather, you know, so uh, if you guys are, uh, believe in prayer, please pray for Rhett. Um, he's still under the weather, hoping he will get better soon. Whew, man, just uh, mowed the old house and that was probably a three hour job. I And all I did was mow. I didn't even, I didn't even uh, weed eat. So I'll have to weed eat next week. I think I'll alternate one week weed eat one week mow um, right now because my mower you know we've got four acres that's why we moved we downsized we downsized so we have less uh, work to do with the yard more time to spend at work and with the kids so got the contractor working on the house right now putting the screen door in getting the master bathroom uh, all the cock removed the new cock put in um, he's uh, give me some floor samples so, <laughs> sorry about that. My, uh, like I've told you all, the mover said I misplaced my GoPro, and uh, and so I've ordered the piece that I need for this camera to go on my windshield mount, and it's supposed to be in tomorrow. So, looking forward to getting that so you guys quit falling like that. But back to what I was talking about. The contractor is getting the house ready, doing the make ready. Once he's done, I'll get the cleaners in, do the final clean, get the carpets cleaned real good. And yeah, then we'll uh, shoot the pictures, get it on the market, and get that thing off our plates. Okay, guys, so uh, I want to do something on how to vet your movers, how to vet your move. There's some easy things you could do. Um, first and foremost, call the Oklahoma Corporation Commission. Call the Oklahoma Corporation Commission and ask them if that mover has the proper certificates to be in compliance. They've got to show proof of insurance to the Corporation Commission and they've got to be good standing. So that's number one. And um, if they don't have that with the Corporation Commission, then they're not, they're not even supposed to be moving people's stuff in Oklahoma. Number two, a moving company is supposed to go over with you uh, two different types of insurance on your goods. 66 cents per pound or full coverage. 66 cents per pound or full coverage. And they are supposed to go over that with you according to the Oklahoma Corporation Commission. If they don't do that, if they haven't done those two things, they're not even following the state minimum requirements to be a moving company. You know, they're just a couple guys with a truck. Uh, number three, get background checks. On whoever's coming to your house, tell that mover you want background checks. And they can do simple background checks with the OSBI for like 25 bucks. Say, I'll pay for this. You have them fill this out, turn it in, and I want the results. For, for 25 bucks a person, you could save yourself thousands of dollars of stuff being sold. So those are the top three things that you can do to vet your mover is uh, make sure they're up to date with the Oklahoma Corporation Commission because if they're not, they're not even doing the minimum standards. Number two, make sure they offer you the different insurances, 66 cents per pound or full coverage. Make sure they offer you those two different insurance plans. And number three, do the OSBI name background check on each mover that's gonna be at your house. And you'll know so much more, you'll be <laughs> it fell again. You'll know so much more. You'll be in such a better place for you and your family when you have those movers move you. All right, guys. Josh Barnett, Better Hopes of Garden Real Estate, Paramount. Thinking about 
selling a house or land in Oklahoma, give me a call, 405-315-7965. Oklahoma's listing agent, Josh Bardet. Have a great day.